Outlander Season 4 has painted Stephen Bonnet as a villain to rival the despicable Black Jack Randall from earlier seasons of the Star's time travel show, but star Ed Spilliers has now hinted at his character getting redemption in the explosive finale due to air next week. When Irish pirate Stephen Bonnet, played by Ed, first showed up on Outlander both Jamie Fraser, played by Sam Hewen, and Claire Fraser, Katrina Balfe, were taken in by his charms. Claire even had a heart-to-heart -heart with the man Jamie had rescued from hanging, as they share their fears of drowning in the treacherous sea. But both the married couple and fans were completely flabbergasted when the truth about Stephen's evil ways was revealed on the period drama, and they watched as the pirate forced Claire to give up her beloved wedding ring to Jamie. While Roger Wakefield Mackenzie, Richard Rankin, had quite a different experience with the Irish ship captain, he was spared the horror of seeing what his beloved Brianna Randall Fraser, Sophie Skelton, had been through at his hands. Stephen raped Brianna in payment for her mother's ring, and Brianna was left completely traumatized by the ordeal, so with all that in mind, can the character really be redeemed by the season's end? Jamie intends to murder the captain for his actions, and enlisted his godfather Murtaugh Fitzgibbons, Duncan Lacroix, to do so but Downton Abbey actor Ed weighed up the possibility. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, the star insisted Stephen has a nuanced personality and is capable of kindness, but unfortunately it will always be for his own gain. Perhaps the character will end up pretending he has changed and is sorry for his actions in his final showdown with redhead Scott Jamie Fraser, but it may simply be in a desperate attempt at survival. That's a good question, I don't really want to say too much about where he'll end up this year, but I guess that's the big thing isn't it? Whether he'll get redemption, Ed shared. Are people who have capabilities to do these different acts that he does, or behave in a certain way? He went on, can you change people like that? I don't know. I think that's quite a big question. I feel that maybe with creative license, dramatically, he could be but I would think it'd be hard pushed because of the way his psyche is and the way it's so ingrained in him to behave. The star went on, I think it would be for him to be fully involved. I think he has the capability to do an act of kindness or goodness or to do something like that, but I don't necessarily think. I still feel that he would be doing that from a point of gratitude more than anything else, Ed said. It would never be for the better of others. If Jamie fails to kill the rapist by the season's final episode, fans may be expecting the character to show up again in season 5, but they will have to wait and see. The actor also discussed exactly what drew him to the complex role in the first place, and the simple answer was how much material the writers gave him to sink his teeth into. I'd never had the opportunity to do a role like this before, he admitted. Looking at the books originally and then obviously the scripts, the depth, and the complexity of who he is and what drives him, was a huge sort of driving force I suppose. I think that I was sat there trying to understand how this person operates, why he would move in a certain way, why he would behave in a certain way, what has created that, whether it was a result of nurture or nature. Yeah it was a well written role, the script is what as an actor you always go for in a role, is the character a well written character, something that's not been seen before? And he is great fun to play, albeit at times challenging. Eventually it was just trying to get my head around the sort of antics he gets up to, Ed laughed. It's always part of the challenge. And I think I've just been crying out to do a role like this for a long time.